All right, Shalom. Just want to give all praises and glory and honor due unto Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Call all Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that I learned the truth from. Peace and salutations unto the chosen elect. Much love unto the Akim that's out there pushing this truth in sincerity. Okay, and um, the title of this lesson is going to be called Drink Your Damn Milk. Okay, um, and um, I was looking at the benefits of milk, uh, and particularly um, sheep's milk. Okay, um, apparently, well, we know through the scriptures it talks about the milk, right? But the best type of milk there is is really sheep's milk. Okay, and um, you know, the Lord, he calls us the lost uh, sheep, all right, of Israel. So what are we supposed to be drinking? Sheep's milk, which is these scriptures, okay? But um, let me just get some, let me get a scripture here. It says, uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, so that's self-explanatory. We're the lost sheep, okay? And um, how do you nourish baby sheep? Okay, you got to give them the milk, okay, particularly from the from the female or the mother. Give them that lamb's milk, okay, and that's what, that's what we first draw, or that's what younger brothers like myself, that's what we were first drawn into, the milk, all right, um, the, the easier things of the scriptures, so to speak, not the meat, the milk, okay, and that's how we came out of our lost state. Okay, by, by looking at this milk on the Urim and the Thurim uh, from the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. That's what they are teaching us, right? Okay, so um, let me just get into this article here because it points out some uh, spiritual things in here as well. It says, um, the health benefits of sheep milk. Humans have been drinking sheep. Sorry, Salakia. Humans have been milking sheep and enjoying the unique benefits of their milk for thousands of years. The countries of the Mediterranean remain the world's biggest producers. The extraordinarily long lives of the Bulgarian shepherds is often attributed in part of in part to the health giving benefits of sheep milk. Okay, they had a Mediterranean, right? You know, that's on the other eastern part of the world, and that only makes sense because you know, the eastern parts of the world, they, they stick with their traditions. You know, over here in uh, America, uh, what's pushed the most? Cow's milk, which is garbage. Okay, the milk of the goyim, which a lot of our people drink. You know, you tell Jake about sheep's milk, uh, they'll look at you like you're from another planet. You know, that's how base and docile and dumb they are. Okay, but um, anyways, <clears throat> it says there is an increasing evidence that sheep milk has unusual health potential. Okay, the, the extent to which this carries over into cheese and other products made from it will be revealed as more research is done on this remarkably little known wonder food. Okay, and um, that's what we were dealing with back in the ancient world. Okay, the Lord, when he put us into the, uh, when he put uh, the children of Israel, okay, the children of Yaquab, into uh, the best parts of the land, we were using the butter of the kind, okay? The different fatty parts of the milk, all right? To make our to make our, our, our foods, all right? And which were really nourishing, okay? Let me get uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 12. So Yahweh alone did lead them, and there was no strange God with them, okay? Yeah, so Yahweh, he, he alone led us to the promised land, led us to Israel, led us to our nation, led us to the land of milk and honey. Him alone did it. No other power did. And um, when we come into this truth, that's what, we got, that's what we got to understand when getting the sincere milk. How did you get here? How did you ingest, how did you, um, how did you ingest this sincere milk or the, or, or, the, or the milk of the lamb? Okay? Which is this word. How did you get it? It was really the Lord that um, uh, moved, put the spirit on the apostles to go out there and teach it. And then he put the spirit on you to go out there and listen to it. Okay. Verse 13. He made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of the bread of the breed of Bashan and goats 
with the fat of kidneys of wheat, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. So that's going into milk, honey, livestock, and um, wine, okay? But it says butter of the kind. Let me get the word uh, butter, right? When you look it up, butter, the fatty part of milk, obtained from cream by churning, okay? And um, uh, it says this is apparently cow cheese or it could be sheep cheese, goat cheese, all right? But we're dealing with sheep, okay? Because that's the highest uh, concentrated milk that's out there. Okay, um, so you get the point what butter really is. Okay, just like um, when you when you go put some uh, cow cow butter. Okay, you might spread it on your bread and eat it, which you're not really supposed to be eating those things. Those things aren't good for you, but you get the point of what I'm bringing out. Okay, and uh, let me go back here. So let me get another scripture. Actually, um, let me get. Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 26 it says the principal things for the whole use of man's life are water fire iron and salt flour of wheat honey milk and the blood of the grape and the oil and the clothing okay so you know it says it states milk but when you when I get more into the article it states that um, it states that sheep's milk it gives you um, other essential nutrients man like iron itself and these and iron is is a key uh, principle for the life of man okay so um, let me read it here it says uh, it says uh, uh, gram for gram the superiority of sheep milk lies in the comparison with cow and goat milk especially in the differences between levels of critical nutritional substances like protein, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamins B6, B12, and D. The medium chain amino acids, linolithic acids, and all 10 of the essential amino acids, okay? And you know, our, our people are vitamin deficient, okay? Um, they lack all these minerals, man, because they're not drinking the milk first. And that's why a lot of brothers or not brothers, I mean a lot of former brothers, okay, Salakia, former brothers who fell out, they, they, they were lacking the sincere milk, okay, they didn't want to ingest it, they choked on it, okay, and then that's what, and then they didn't get the nutrients, and that's why they fell out, and that's why, um, that's why the scriptures in Ezekiel chapter 37 talks about the dry bones, man, okay, because you, you, a lot of the reason why our people are in this dead state is because they're not, they're not vitamin, they're vitamin deficient, okay? They're not getting the right nutrients, which is really the scriptures, okay? And before you can uh, eat meat, you have to drink the milk. Um, let me get a scripture here. Um, uh, what is it? Yeah, First Peter chapter 2, um, verse 2. As newborn babes... All right, newborn babes, so newborn sheeps, okay, newborn lambs, baby lambs, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Yeah, and the apostles, they always go into this, the sincere milk of the word, because it's it's drinkable. Like, um, what's what's milk? What's a milk scripture? Um, uh, Job 9.24, um, Genesis chapter 25, going into... Uh, um, uh, Jacob and Esau, okay, um, not eating pork, uh, the dietary laws, those are all sincere milk, the sincere milk of the word, and these things, um, they give you a foundation, all right, they give you, these are the core fundamentals of what allows you to grow into an adult in this truth, all right, okay, and um, like myself, I'm still, I'm still a babe in this truth, man, and I'm still drinking the milk, but the reason why I'm talking like this is because I have examples, okay, which are like the which, which are the apostles and Yahweh Shai, man. First and foremost, Yahweh Shai, then the apostles, man, because they grew up in the truth. Because you can see all the videos they were doing uh, back in the 90s, okay, the way they bring out their lessons, the way they inspire 
uh, other brothers to teach and push this word. Okay, the way the way how they break down all these adversaries that come up against this truth. Okay, all right. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Okay, so that's a part of the milk. So let me go back to the article. It says sheep milk contains about one third more energy than cow or goat milk, and that's a spiritual number, one third. Okay, and that only makes sense because the one third are going to be the only ones who really drink the sheep's milk, which is the scriptures. And it only makes sense that they're going to be more energized. Okay, that's why two-thirds, they're not energized. When you look at them, they're dead. And then when they look at you, you're alive, and then they get jealous of you, man. They hate you because of that. Because why? They're not healthy. Okay, spiritually, physically, mentally, man. They're not healthy. Okay, more energy than cow or goat milk. And that's what the two-thirds are drinking. They're drinking that cow and goat's milk, which cow's milk is full of pus, bacteria. You know, it's not even ingestible for your stomach. That's why, you, that's why our people are lactose intolerant, right? You're lactose intolerant. You can't digest it, but you still go to the store and buy it anyway, even when we tell you the truth. Making it a favorite of high-performance athletes. Okay, yeah, we are high performance athletes in this truth. Aren't we on the highways and byways week in and week out? Aren't we always uh, um, trying to stay in the spirit, trying to keep our performance up? That's why we're always in this word, man. It has doubled the protein. Okay, so it has doubled the protein. So if you're a babe in this truth, okay, you don't need to be going to meat. All right, you don't need to be going to meat. Not yet. Just, just stick with the milk, man, because it has the, the efficient amount of protein that you need, okay? You don't need to be jumping the gun, man, trying to show that you're bigger than everybody else, man. You don't need to do that shit, okay? And much more of the right kinds of fats, vitamins, and minerals, particularly calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc, which is essential for men. Men need zinc, okay? Well, we need all of these things. Right, but th that's why a lot of men are effeminate because they don't have, and a bunch of faggots, because they don't have any of these minerals, man. That's why they're thinking all messed up. That's why they want to pop another man's wife, man. That's why they want to be a faggot. And you can thank the so-called white man for that. And really, it's a lack of education and communication, man. Or people are just fucking ignorant, and they don't want to learn. While being lower in sodium. It has more than twice as much vitamin C, you know, because our, our people are, um, you know, they have some of our people have scurvy, you know, they're, they're vitamin C deficient. All right. And double or triple the essential vitamins. OK, let me get a scripture um, because I said the one third. All right. Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So the ones who are vitamin deficient are going to die. And that only makes sense. You don't put the minerals in your body that you need, you're going to die. All right? Or you're going to get ailments. You're going to get sick. Okay? And you're going to die by nuclear fire. That's what it's really talking about. But the third shall be left therein. Yeah, the one third that drink this milk. Okay? And partake in eating the meat of the word. Okay? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is tried. Salakia is, is refined and will try them as gold in the... How, let me just read it again. Salakia. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And that bring us through the fire. Uh, the third part is, uh, you know, the trials and tribulations. And really also, too, it's going to go into, um, you know, uh, the troubles that are, that, are, that are ahead for us, man, in these times. Okay. But right now, um, the Lord is refining us by making us, by, uh, by allowing us to catch hell. And he's getting us through it. Um, being slandered. 
I'm going through uh, trials in the world by these people out here, your job or whatever, not getting enough finances, being denied all the fucking time when you're overqualified, you know, because we're wise men, man. We're too wise to be doing fucking menial work, man. Okay, but we're forced to in this society. Okay, all these people out here, they don't know shit, but they get to tell you what to do. Okay, but you know, that time is almost up because the Lord is coming back to deliver us. Okay, and then we're going to have a real leader that's going to tell us what to do. A real leader that knows his shit is going to really tell us what to do in that day, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, not these paper leaders that are out here like your politicians. Okay, and, and your leaders in your, in your communities who don't know shit. All right. Yahweh is my power. And that's right. We're going to say Yahweh, he is to be, is our power, man. Okay, the one who delivered us, the one who parted the Red Sea and destroyed the, ar the, the armies of Pharaoh and all the other nations that came up against us, man. And right now, who's up against us? The so called white man. All right. All right. So let me get. Because um, our people, they're drinking the wrong milk. All right. This is Colossians chapter 2 and 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because our people, they're drinking uh, the spoiled milk uh, of America, man, or these other nations, which are the philosophies like feminism, capitalism, homosexuality. Um, uh, what, what else is there? Capitalism, democracy, okay? Uh, Christmas because we just came out of the, the new we just entered the new year and what just passed New Year's and Christmas that's a tradition of men a lot of our people were, were, were um, lusting after that man and doing their own thing in the world after the rudiments of the world and not after Yahweh Shai yeah, they don't chase Yahweh Shai they don't come after and drink Yahweh Shai they don't drink the word alright okay so let me get to let me get to Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 3. Because, you know, um, I just explained to you where vitamin where, where our people are um, vitamin deficient, right? But the Lord has set us up to be coroners, man. Okay, because right now, we're, we're starting from the apostles and elders on, of Great Milson, we're, they, they're, 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 uh, we're the autopsy. We're, autops we're, we're, we're doing the autopsy of this nation, okay? And, and the Lord ordained us to do it. All right. So this is um, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord power, thou knowest. That's right. Only the Lord knows, man. Because what we see through in the autopsy, right? What we see through the autopsy is you, you people are just dead. When we, look, when we look at you through a spiritual lens like a scientist. Because... We examine you, Jakes, through the scriptures. We examine the tribes through the scriptures. Okay, and, and, we, and the way we look at you is like there's no hope sometimes. Even though we know the prophecies and we know that you're going to be risen out of your low estate, the way we look at you, you're just gone in the mind. Okay? That's us looking at you uh, through, as a coroner. Let me get the word coroner first. Okay, it says um, from Anglo-French, coroner. Latin custos placitorum coronae, corone, originally the title of the officer with the duty of protecting the property of the royal family. Okay, and um, we are the protectors of the royal family in this world right now. Okay, and the royal family is um, starting with Yahweh Shem Yahweshai and the nation of Israel. Okay. And you people out there, the nation of Israel, you're the property of the royal family, which is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You're the property, okay, of the crown. The duties of the office gradually um, narrowed. And by 17th century, the chief function was to determine the cause of death in cases not obviously natural, okay? Because you didn't die naturally. You, 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 um... You, you two thirds or our nation didn't die naturally. You know, you died. You died. You died spiritually. You didn't just. You didn't just die because, um, because you 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 gave up the ghost on your death on your on your deathbed. You died because you went off. All right, that's not natural. 
because naturally we're supposed to do right in the scriptures. So now the Lord, he set up the prophets to investigate it and tell you where you're going off. All right. So verse four, again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh, ye dry bones. Right. When you, because like I said, examination, uh, I found some, uh, I found some medical um, evidence here about bones and post-mortem trauma. Right. So let me read this. It says post-mortem trauma. That which occurs after death, okay, and and you two thirds, you're dead right now. We're in the post post uh post mortem stage of your death right now, but you're gonna be risen soon, right? So it says post mortem trauma that which occurs after death is typically caused by environmental conditions such as damage by carnivores and rodents, or which are these other nations, okay? You can also use the, the Lazarus um breakdown because they're like the dogs represent these other nations the scavengers that come and lick your bones and take uh, and scavenge off of you such as damage by carnivores and rodents compression from burial soils or exposure of the bone to sun heat and moisture and why are we exposed to these things because the lord ain't with us all right let's get psalms man psalms 121 and 5 because you you people you stupid two-thirds in the church you like to read psalms right and sing songs in your little hymn book but you don't know what the hell you're reading right so this is yahweh is thy keeper yahweh is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And right now, the Lord ain't doing that for you two-thirds, man. That's why, that's why you're in that post-mortem state. That's why your bones are dry from environmental conditions and spiritual conditions. That's why these other nations can bleed you dry, can break your bones, do whatever they want to you. Because the Lord ain't there to protect you. He, isn't, he doesn't want to be your keeper anymore. Right? And that's your fault. That's your fault. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Just get in the scriptures and get right. You know? It's not time to be... F We're in a new year of prophecy, man. 2018. It's not time to be pussy, man. It's time to do the work, man. And get big for the for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. When damage occurs after death, no healing is evident. And unlike green bone and anthemortem and perma... Perimortem injuries, the bone is dry and more brittle. That's why Ezra. That's why Ezra was saying, "Only you know, Lord. Only oh no, Ezekiel Salake was saying to the Lord, "Only you know, Thou knowest." Because when we look at this, you know, it looks like you'll never wake up because you're so damaged, man. You're so damaged. You're so damaged. It's it's unbelievable. But that's why. Uh, but that's why we have a power, a high power out there, because he's going to do the impossible to, to raise this nation up out of that dry state. OK, and it's happening now. It's happening now. Brothers are doing videos all over the world. Uh, this word is getting out. People are, are awakening up to who Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is and who the real Israelites are. OK, there's a lot of people that I go to work. They, they, they try to subliminally tell me about the Israelites, man, and they probably see me out there, but I see it all the time. You know, I have these other nations, they come up to me and they're talking about the Hebrew Israelites, and they're like, yeah, they're the real people of the Bible, man, and why is that? Because the videos are out there, starting with the apostles and elders on down. Dry bone fractures, let me just finish up. Dry bone fractures typically have more jagged or torn looking edges with random patterns of breakage. The fracture edges of the post-mortem breaks may also look lighter in color than perimortem injuries because they have been exposed for shorter periods. All right, and that's all I really want to bring out, okay? So you get the gist of uh, the importance of milk, and it's about your diet, man, okay? And um, with that, I hope this was edifying. Um, until next time, I just want to give all praises and glory, glory and honor. Do unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call all to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and salutations on your chosen elect. 
Uh, much love unto the Akim that's out there aiding this ministry, doing their part. With that, Shalom.